There has been a huge decline in mental health around the world, which is why we're so committed to creating more content than we ever have. Thanks for being a part of our journey. Have you ever lost the enthusiasm for doing things that were once new and exciting? Or do you dread the thought of having to work long, hard hours on a project that just leaves you unfulfilled? If so, you may be feeling a case of burnout, which is the loss of motivation that once compelled you to keep going, the absence of ambition to do what you or others expect of you, and the lack of desire to finish what you started. So with that said, here are six signs that indicate that you are burning out. Number one, you work hard, but don't seem to reach your goals. If you're working longer hours yet don't feel in touch with your goals, you might be on the verge of burnout. Burning out makes you feel disengaged from your tasks. You may just be going on autopilot, putting in work, but not really feeling a sense of purpose in what you do. When this starts to happen, you may need to step back and evaluate your goals. Is what you're working towards fulfilling something you truly want, or is it someone else's expectations of you? Can you change the situation in any way? From there, you can decide whether the path you're heading is truly worthwhile. It's never too late to change directions when you want to. Number two, you have no desire to socialize with friends. Do you find yourself avoiding any interactions with people, even the ones you're close with? It's easy to forget what it feels like to live life when you're stuck with an endless pile of tasks. You may be so caught up with your duties that it can be hard to find time to enjoy yourself with friends. And when you do find time to catch up with them, you may end up feeling irritated because you'd rather be productive and working. While burnout can be the source of avoidant tendencies, many other conditions can be to blame too. So it's always best to talk with a therapist to truly understand the root motivations behind your actions. Number three, procrastinating has become second nature. Do you often put tasks off until later on because they seem endless? When you're faced with the magnitude of all the tasks to be done, it can be daunting to start. You may put things off until the last minute, forcing you to rush and feel stressed. If you've ever wondered why you always end up in this loop, it may be because procrastination stems from a sense of perfectionism, where you wanna do everything as well as you possibly can. And because of this, you may put off actual work and spend more time mauling over the project than actually completing it. If you find yourself putting things off more than usual, try breaking your tasks into smaller and more manageable chunks. This way you won't overwhelm yourself with larger goals, but still continue working towards them bit by bit. Number four, you feel insecure about your abilities. Do you find yourself second guessing your capabilities and comparing yourself with other people? If so, you might be experiencing a common cause of burnout. When you have a lot on your plate, it can be difficult to prioritize things which can cause you to make mistakes and feel dissatisfied with your work and ultimately your abilities. It's easy to get caught up in seeing other people's talents and forgetting your own, especially if you're in a highly competitive field. If that's the case, try focusing on your own personal strengths as you work towards your goals. Number five, you don't feel a sense of accomplishment in your work. Does getting recognized for your efforts mean next to nothing to you? Being burnt out is often associated with a lack of interest in your current situation. You may find yourself not caring about the results of your projects and instead only happy when they're dealt with. For example, a teacher may compliment you on your performance in a university course, but if you didn't wanna pursue that major in the first place, or if you found the work uninteresting and not aligned with your personal motivations, you won't feel any sense of accomplishment from their praise. And number six, you feel like your situation is hopeless. Do you feel like there's no way out of the situation you're in? People who are burnt out often can't find any sense of pride in their work. It's as if their emotional well has dried up, causing them to be too unmotivated to do anything that would push them in the right direction. It may be hard to rise above it, but know that you are not alone. Talk to a friend or loved one for help and consider talking to a therapist if you can't seem to get through it on your own. As a final note, remember to take some time for yourself every once in a while. It's important to go out and socialize with friends, enjoy activities that make you happy, and rest ever so often. We're not built to live like machines after all. If you have limited hours in the day, you can always start small with simple things like going for a walk every day or spending quality time with friends or loved ones. So do you relate to any of the above signs? Are there some that we may have missed? Share them in the comments below. Remember to like and share this video with those who might enjoy it. As always, the references and studies are listed in the description below. That's all for now, Psych2Goers. See you next time.